live on cut. <laughs> this is a little different type of live because we don't have that much time. So we decided to kind of show you that we are trying to like pack up, right? Yeah. Pack on up and get er because and have, our midwife cape is coming off. And yeah. Our mommy cape is coming on. That's and right. We have time limits here. Ta da! And so we're packing up, trying to get out of here so we can go pick up our children and do mommy stuff. Um, and I wanted to do a, a midwife uncut because Miss Galena over here is going away for two weeks, which is amazing. Something that we really never get to do. So I'm very happy and proud of her for doing it. Thank you. <laughs> Galena has guilt issues, so we, I'm not comfortable with this scenario at all. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. So either way, we just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody and just say hey. And we're so happy that nothing really happened to us oh, yes. with the hurricane. And we are really, really praying and hoping that everything goes well with the Bahamas and everyone on there. So, oh, you'll take that one. Okay, good. I, I was trying to, was double phone. And I was trying to hold the phone two ways. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, okay. So let's walk and talk because that's what we have to do. So we have to clean up the shop. Walk and talk a little bit. Here we go. Multitasking at its best. Multitasking. Oh, you saw that. Oh, here, here's there. No, there we go. <laughs> um, so we didn't get a lot of questions last Visit. We didn't, yeah. And we aren't sure if you guys got the post or not, but we want to make sure that you guys, you know, communicate with us. We love to answer questions. Here. I'm trying to get it in both <laughs> screens. We have, two, <laughs> we have two phones right now. So here's how our day went, right? Uh -huh. So we rescheduled everyone from Tuesday because we didn't really know what was going to go on with the hurricane. Right. And then we were here last night until, I don't know, like 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock at night. Right, yeah. 11 o'clock at night. Because Thursday... No, it wasn't 11. It was, it was like 10. Yeah. So Thursday is our evening clinic day. Um, Hi, Andy. I know some people, you know, some other midwives in the community do like Saturdays. We like to keep our weekends for our kids because, you know, we're away from them a lot anyways during the week. And yeah. so that's really important to us. And we decided a long time ago that we'll then offer evening clinic. Let's go in the front. Okay. You can sit. So evening clinic <laughs> <laughs> is... Um, Thursday evenings from 7 p.m. on, and we're sometimes here till like 10, 11. But that's why we do it. Separating. That's how we do it. And we are totally multitasking here. All Yay. right. There we, we got, go. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, so um, and I think. That's like super far. But what did okay. we want to, yeah. Well, we can come. We're good. We're good. Perfect. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, right here. Okay. <laughs> So we, um, and then today we had a whole full clinic of people and we were just kind of like, you know, juggling and juggling and multitasking, multitasking. and then, uh, oh, late transfers. We want to talk about late transfers since we've got one. Yes, we do. Um, that will be our topic today on Midwives Uncut. Late transfers. Do we like it? Unfortunately, we, we really don't. Um, we, we believe, and, and I think other midwives can probably agree with us that uh, we like to establish that relationship early on. We like to establish that trust. Um, we really want to kind of, uh, what's the word, like... Um, personalize our care. Personalize and nurture. The, but also get your, your mindset that, that, in nurture the right Nurture the mindset. Place. Yeah, because when you're coming off of a, oh, especially those that transfer, it's different like if you had a, a midwife and you're transferring to a midwife. It's different. Fine. Right. <clears throat> but if you had an OB, like the test that they they are very test uh, most offer much more testing than we would right PC and um, and and so you're then you're thinking like oh maybe you're missing out on something and so it, it's kind of the idea of no this is what people want when they come to us they want to nurture the normal process of pregnancy and birth and not over test mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and obviously I mean if you know, we're all looking out for your well-being. We're all making sure you and baby are healthy. That's not getting lacked by not doing all those tests. But the way that we do it is a little different, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of time to f familiarize ourselves with you as our our client, as the person. You know, like if there's something that's a little off, we're going to know right away because we know that that's not normal for you because we've been seeing you so often and so long. Our visits are much longer, much more thorough. Yeah, and a million and one like ultrasounds is not, when we say one ultrasound, we're not jipping you. No. We're providing um, proper care in my opinion because over ultrasounds, is where is the safety in that? Do we know? Uh, what have studies shown? 
So right. use as needed, right. and that's if what we, we need do. to do another one, we will. Right, I right. Mean, but we just don't do it just to do it. Right, exactly. That doesn't make any sense. So, so just make sure when you are transferring that you understand that you are transferring to a a more natural process, a more a uh, process trusting in the normal flow and the the all those things that you know are being offered to you may not be necessary and you may not get that from us yeah and so you know let's say a mom had a baby prior and this is her second baby she's transferring late in the game but she's had kind of you know she's had the natural route that's different because she's familiar with the process mm -hmm. and she understands the process I feel like sometimes we have first-time moms that change that want to change really late in the game um, and that's okay we want to support everyone's uh, choice uh, in their birthing option and we really want to encourage that they that they understand that they have that choice yeah but sometimes when they change so late it's really difficult for us to be able to nurture everything that we just talked about and really instill yeah. it and get you excited about it exactly it's more about okay this is what um i'm growing good my baby sounds good i'm getting all the kicks not the waiting for the next test to be done it's more like okay these are think preparations i need to do mentally and physically mm -hmm. to make sure that my birth is the, how i want it to be right you and, know and not only that um we we are huge on educating you on the nutrition, but also empowering you so that you can take control of your pregnancy, labor, and birth. You know, it's really important that you have the control of that so that you can make the decisions on how you want to birth and where you want to birth and who you want to birth with. Mm -hmm. um, and so classes are so extremely important. And sometimes when moms transfer late, it, it's, it's difficult to get them in the classes yeah. that they need to Ooh, prepare. Don't do the classes. It's just not a good combination. I think what we've noticed with late transfers, it kind of discouraged us because we really want to, we want to do it for you. We, we want to be your midwife and give you that out of hospital birth. Right. But I think we kind of got burned a little because we realized maybe we're not, you're not, uh, fully aware of everything uh, that you're walking into right. and then that kind of gyps you a little right. bit out, out of hospital birth, natural birth in general takes work mm -hmm. it's not easy mm -hmm. and, and and it's not just a physical uh, work it's a mental and emotional work <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah. know so your mind has to be in there you're uh, physically you have to be ready so many things emotion you, you have, have to, to be ready and fears fears, fears can, are huge. can really um if you don't address the fears that you have for what you are about to enter right. the journey then they're going to come up at birth and you know you're going to want to escape it right and we natural birth doesn't allow you to escape it no, you got to walk through it, it. right and, and we don't want you to drug and numb yourself so we can't give you that uh, and not that, that you don't need it sometimes, sometimes right. you do, Right. but I feel like just you did maybe preparation and got your mind around the idea of this is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. I got to be ready for it. I have to trust my provider. Mm -hmm. I have to know that if I am in harm's way, my provider is going to tell me exactly. and take me to the right location. Absolutely. Um, and all the other stuff is just stuff that I, I got to work through and, for my own journey. And that's exactly why we've kind of like... <sighs> felt a little bit discouraged with taking late transfers especially mm -hmm. first time moms is because then all of that plus they don't really know trust us. the process they don't know us they don't feel comfortable like most of our clients you guys and i'm sure a lot of you that are watching can feel comfortable with us like you can tell us whatever you want to tell us because we've already established that relationship and we want you to feel that way with us and we've been told a lot we want to feel that way with you too we want to be able to like talk to you and say hey listen I'm going to be real with you right now, okay? Yeah. This is what's going on, and right. you need to get it together. Like, yeah. if I, you know, I can talk to my clients like that because we have already established that relationship. They know I'm going to be real with them. You're going to be real with us. But sometimes late transfers, we don't know you, and it is really difficult to be able to do those things and trust without the Right, like we want to be able to say, listen, you got this. Let's, like, come on, you can do it. Exactly. Without feeling like we're attacking you right. or not, not giving you what you want. And I think that's the main difference is mm -hmm. when I don't know you and I say that to you, you might think, she's not letting me do what I want. Right. And if I do know you and I say that to you, you're like, all right, she's, she's sticking to the birth plan. 
All right, back on track, back on track. You know, so it's just a different perception right. in the type of relationship that you have with mm-hmm. your provider. Mm-hmm. You know, right? And 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 understanding that I always say, like, and I talk to moms that call us. I had a mom the other day that called. She was thirty-seven weeks, and I said, like, I don't think that it's a good idea mm-hmm. because, you know, then I really only have maybe four weeks with you if you go to your due date, and that to me is not enough. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not nearly enough. Um, and, and I say, listen, maybe you should maybe consider having a doula for your birth. That mm-hmm. way yeah. you can really focus on that part. And then next baby, if you think that this is a good option, you start from the beginning with us. And you really get the whole experience. I thought about next topic could be a transfers. Okay. Like to like in labor transfers. Yeah. Because it happens. Be it can happen. It, it kind of is like, a you know. Not a prelude. What's a post postlude? <laughs> Not sure what word you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> like segment two of this topic would be transfers in labor. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I know prelude, but that's it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think um, that's something to think about when you're establishing care with your provider and meeting with people ahead of time is going to help make sure. So so don't you know make sure before when you start care you know what type of birth you want. Uh, you've got the right provider mm-hmm. to, to give you the that right birth. birth team. Everybody's got to right be on the same team. page. Mm-hmm. You know, even family members. I'm going to, you know, I had a mom earlier and she was like, I really don't want my mother-in-law to be there. I'm like, well, then don't call her. It's like, but, his, like, you know, the partner is going to call her. And I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, this is your birth. And yes, it's his baby too. But you are the one that's in labor and you're going through to, it. You're yeah. going through it and you have to feel comfortable with who's there. And that goes without saying with your entire birth team. Sandy's so, the bulldog. She'll get him out. Yeah, listen, I say, listen, give me a password or something. You say pineapples, it's pineapples. Let's go. <laughs> but, you know, I <clears throat> I say that because I've seen so many times where moms are just... It messes up just, your labor. It does. I, moms are just doing it because they feel bad or they feel obligated. Oh, no. don't do that. You don't need to feel obligated or bad. This is your day. Mm-hmm. It's, it should be all about you, nobody else. And yes. let me tell you, when that baby arrives and they see how beautiful this baby is, everything is going to be forgotten. And if they don't, then you it's know true. what? It's their loss. Yeah. I had one mom didn't even tell her that tell her mother that she was doing a home birth. And like until maybe she was in labor. And then I realized, oh, she didn't know. And so like she's on the phone and and, and it was just better for her that her mother didn't even know at all. And I her mom have- was pissed oh yeah. we didn't talk to her for a few days but then after that that's it it's yeah. done it and then over. she had another home and birth after that the, yeah <laughs> and she got the birth that she wanted yep and all the other stuff went away yeah so i didn't tell my mom that i was in labor when i had my kids she's too much energy and that's okay they don't get mad at you because they look at the baby and they realize that it's kind of kind of dumb to be mad at something like that yeah really you who know? cares and if not then honestly it's it, you can i just told one of the the clients today the intimacy involved in getting pregnant is the same intimacy involved in getting the baby out. You're producing the same hormones you produce to get that baby in, and I, I don't think you have had an audience. There. I, especially not my mother. <laughs> not that you had that. an audience. I mean, listen, to each his own, but I, I, I didn't have an audience. So yeah. I did not want a lot of extra people that might make me feel uncomfortable. What if I want to walk around naked? What if I want, you know, anything? Yeah. And you, you really have to kind of... You're pooping, you're farting, you're vomiting. Right. You know, your butt is having hemorrhoids. Like, <laughs> things are going on. This is real. Okay, it's what yeah. happens. You get a hemorrhoid. Yeah. yeah. Big one. Yeah. And, and then even after the baby, if you don't want so many people to just come bombard you, because I know what that's like. I'm Hispanic, and my first baby, I feel like every oh, five I seconds, I, I had like 20 people in my room, and I was just like overwhelmed, and my boobs hurt, and I was bleeding, and I was... Uh, so, my second baby came around, and I didn't tell anyone that he was born until two weeks after... It's the smartest thing ever. And we bonded. My older son bonded with him as well. And we were able to just transition. My boobs weren't as painful. I was like, I can like look normal and like a human. And then everyone started coming. So oh, I think I did. Oh, shoot. I don't know what I'm doing. So either way, uh, Galena, have a great trip. Are we going you. offline for a week or so? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Where you're going. Should we? I don't know. Yeah. It'd be, be cool gone. to be able to like Skype. <gasps> can we do that and then make not. it go live we might be able to I maybe oh that would be so cool <laughs> i'll find out i'm going i'm going away and then uh if we can skype in something that would be so neat and i could show you guys a little bit about where i am and yeah all right we'll see but uh next 
time, uh, I like to do transfers in labor. Right. I think that's something you guys really want to know about. And then if you guys think of anything, please or uh, comment below and let us know. And like our, or subscribe, I don't know how it works. Subscribe to our YouTube subscribe. channel. You. And then you'll be able to give all the comments and yeah. questions and all that stuff. And yeah. Thank you. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.